Hey what's up guys, Betty here and welcome to another Black Ops 4 video and I have found what I believe to be the best loot spot in Blackout, hands down. You can pretty much guarantee yourself getting level 3 armor and a tier 1 weapon at the start of every single game. So I'm going to show you that in this video as well as a couple other tips to help you get some wins. So there are a few places around the map which are definitely better for gearing up early on in a match. You've got zombie drops where you can get the mystery box quickly. You've got places like train station that has a high volume of loot. But there is one place in particular that I've been landing, especially in solos, that pretty much guarantees you level 3 armor and a tier 1 weapon, whether that's a gold assault rifle or a paladin sniper rifle, and it's hidden in fracking tower. Now some of you may have been paying attention to a few of the Dark Ops challenges that you're able to unlock in Blackout. Things like killing a hundred zombies or scoring a hoop with a basketball, but the one you want to pay attention to in order to take advantage of this secret chest is open the blast doors. So to do that, you'll want to fly to the base of the fracking tower, as you'll also normally be able to pick up a gun and a few other bits of loot pretty quickly. Then you'll want to press this button to open up the blast doors as quickly as you can, then sprint straight across the open ground before anyone can get hold of any weapons and take a shot at you, as the open ground is quite large, and if someone's got a good shot, they can quite easily take you out, but then you just want to drop straight down the blast doors. Now, there's two things that can happen here. You'll either get a tier 1 loot drop such as a sniper rifle, level 3 armor, or a rocket launcher right underneath the blast doors, or you'll get a chest. Now, honestly, from my personal experience, the chest is usually what you'll get 9 times out of 10. But it's not just the loot you get from the chest or the loot points below the blast doors, it's also all the extra bits in this room that you get, trauma kits, attachments, perks, concussion grenades, everything you need to be pretty geared at the start of a game. Now, this is a strategy I've been taking advantage of pretty much every time I've played solos or duos to help me get off to a good start. It's already helped me get a 19 kill win, which is currently my highest number of kills in the game since the launch, which I'm pretty happy with. Also, after you've jumped down the blast doors, you want to be making sure that you get the loot as quickly as you possibly can, and then be ready for enemies to rush you. They can only come from two ways, either from where you just came from, or from straight down this long corridor. So what I would suggest to do is push out through the corridor, but be ready for someone to be coming down it, and then make your way down the corridor and then exit and then rotate back round so you can easily clear fracking tower with the loot that you've gained from this secret chest and pick up an easy four to five kills before moving out of fracking tower towards the circle depending on where it is honestly this is a strategy that i've been using so so much and it's helped me rack up so many wins in solos already where having level 3 armor or a sniper right at the start of a match is such a huge advantage. Now, from what I've played so far, this is the best consistent loot spot that I've found in Blackout, and I don't know whether it's because of the Dark Ops challenge associated with it, but I hope that you can take advantage of it, and if you know of any other spots like this in Blackout, please, please do let me know down in the comments below as I'll really appreciate it and I'm sure everyone else who's watching will as well. Something else I really wanted to talk about in this video which goes hand in hand with that secret chest spot 
which I'm sure will help you out, is that I'm sure you're aware that one set of level 3 armor is not going to be enough to be able to get you through an entire blackout map. So, once you've done this strategy at the start of a match, there's a few things you can do during the match to help make sure that you get a restock of level 3 armor. Firstly, there's the zombie gym that's quite close to Rivertown, which I normally quite like to go to after fracking tower, depending on the situation of my gear. If I've got enough perks, equipment, and so on, you can quickly take down the zombies, get a mystery chest in around a minute, along with some extra perks and equipment, which always really helps from killing the zombies. But the easiest thing to do, as you'll likely be heading towards the zone, is to make sure you go for supply drops, which is normally quite an unpopular opinion in battle royales, as they can become a bit of a hotspot. But this game isn't like PUBG or Fortnite, where everyone goes for the crates, as they can be a little bit harder to spot in Blackout, but just make sure you're super quick about it, grab the armor and get out. Plus, you also have a chance of getting the notes to be able to unlock those character skins, which you definitely want to make sure that you get your hands on. But anyway, that's it for me today. Remember to take advantage of that fracking tower chest. Not that many people go there that often. It's pretty well hidden, and also to boot, you complete a Dark Ops challenge. Also, go for those zombies mystery boxes, go for the supply drops from start to finish and you will have a huge advantage over other players. And remember, use your equipment. Concussions, nine bangs are incredible. But do make sure to also subscribe. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you've got any other locations like this, I'll really, really appreciate it. Smash that thumbs up button and I'll see you soon for another video. See you next time. Bye.